This chopper hovering over the Andaman Sea near the Andaman Nicobar Islands is on a rescue mission, saving people who are missing after a tourist boat capsized on Sunday. The Coast Guard, security personnel and the Andaman administration are involved in the rescue operation. Though the exact cause of the accident is not known, there was a report of a blast just before the boat sank. It is alleged that the boat did not have live jackets and live guards. Rescue operation started an hour late, which has led to anger among the people. There was no the live, live jacket in the, in the boat which was there and no divers and the peop, to rescue the people there are no guards there in the, the boat. This should be thoroughly inquired and the people who are responsible for it, action should be taken against them. Reports suggested that the capsized boat was overloaded, ferrying more people than its capacity which may have led to the mishap. 45 persons were on board at the time of the accident and 29 people rescued have been admitted to a local hospital in Port Blair. We go only for 25 packs to 30 packs only, but they more than they put to 43 packs to 48 packs. All are aged people, that is the main reason and they don't have any life jacket also. But the, the boat rider men also, they have not coordinate anything. Three persons, including the owner of the overcrowded tourist boat, have been detained. An FIR has been lodged against them and they are being questioned. All the bodies have been identified and sent back to Chennai. Among the dead, three are from Maharashtra, 16 from Tamil Nadu and one person each from West Bengal and Uttar Pradesh. A compensation for the next of the kin of the deceased has been announced. I am telling the Prime Minister, the state government has given a 1 lakh rupee compensation and the Lieutenant Governor Andaman Nicobar Island has given 1 lakh rupees compensation. This compensation is not enough for the this uh, affected people. Honorable Prime Minister is saying that 2 lakhs rupees as soon as the Prime Minister's office announced the beneficiary of the people, sir. Other than the people recovery and other uh, b b ferry and flight service also provided the affected peoples as soon as very soon, sir. President Pranam Mukherjee and Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh have expressed grief at this incident. The District Emergency Operations Center with helpline numbers 03192 240 127 is functioning round the clock. The mishap has once again brought the spotlight on disaster management preparedness. Bureau Report, DD News.